May 2024. The average teen or young adult's life is loud, noisy and full of distractions. You wake up, check your phone, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat and all that stuff you could have potentially missed in that short three hours you managed to sleep. When you step out the door walking through a city it's just the same. You wear earpods, listen to a fast, loud, noisy track that's currently trending by walking past a huge glowing advertisement board that is flashing at you the whole time. Your brain is loud. There's more impressions and thoughts in one minute than you could potentially process in a whole day. This is Breaking the Fog, the science of calming down your brain. First up, there's hope. This is not supposed to be a black painting, young people are all soft, anti-technology video. It is supposed to show you what you can do and how even slight easy to make changes can help you control your life. At the end, we will look at what exactly you can do. In December 2019, the New York Times published a short article called The Quiet Brain of the Athlete. The article featured a study by a group of neuro and sports scientists, which shows how the brains of young athletes regulate extraneous noise. This means that their brains have some sort of filter, or if you want to compare it to headphones, active noise cancellation built into it, which regulates all the seemingly irrelevant noise. To test this, the researchers measured the neural activity response to sound of almost 500 D1 athletes and compared them to the response of almost 500 same age, same sex control students. In this case, the researchers measured how the participants would react to the speech syllable DA. They found that the athletes' brains would tune down all the other sounds, practically searching for the correct sound. When the sound was played, there was a much higher reaction to it recorded. Quote, this mode of enhancement may be tied to the overall fitness level of athletes and or the heightened need of an athlete to engage with and respond to auditory stimuli during competition. This study basically shows that if you're an athlete, your brain adjusts to filtering out noise during the day, which results in a more calm and relaxed brain. In 2019, the International Journal of Physiology, Nutrition and Physical Education published an overview called Impact of Sports on Mental Health. The authors explain how modern gadgets and technology lead consumers, especially children, to more sedentary behavior. This has a whole bunch of side effects. First up, it lowers the consumer's need. Need stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis which basically is the amount of calories someone burns in a day if they leave out the calories they burn through exercise. Logically, if someone moves a lot during their day, like a nurse, a handyman or a firefighter, they have a higher need than someone working in an office job, like a lawyer, a consultant or an insurance agent. A lower need by itself is not automatically a bad thing, but oftentimes people struggle with their weight or with their eating behavior. Second consequence of using tech and gadgets is the influence on social behavior. Children who grew up using more electronic devices tend to struggle in conversations due to a lack of confidence and communication skills, anxiety or impulsiveness. They basically don't learn how to interact with people. So far so bad. Now researchers found that just one week of children staying in an overnight camp with physical activity and no screen time improved children's ability to read nonverbal emotional cues drastically. That means if children put away their gadgets, technology and phones a little more and interact with children in real life by moving, playing, doing sports or whatsoever, they quickly learn how to interact with other people. If the children commitment is more than just one week, there are even more positive effects. Children who are actively involved in sports show more positive attitude towards life and have lower suicidal ideation. They have lower anxiety and depression rates and tend to get along better with their classmates. Especially for shy children, organized sports bring many upsides. While it seems irrational throwing a shy kid into an active sports team, researchers found that the D1 
decrease in anxiety shy children have is rather drastic. So why is that interesting? It shows that everyone who feels overwhelmed with how things are going, no matter if it's in school, at work, in family or whatever other social construct, can fight against that feeling. Now, as promised, here's what you can do. If you're honest with yourself and you know that you are not really an active person, if you sit a lot during work or in school, if you're not in a sports team, club, community, while at the same time feeling anxious, lost in society and don't really like interacting with other people, you might consider the following. Find a sport with a low barrier of entry, such as running, track and field, maybe basketball or volleyball, swimming or any other sport that doesn't require a lot of equipment. Make sure the sport is some sort of fun to you and suits your physical abilities. If, for example, you recently had a shoulder surgery, swimming or basketball might not be the best choice for you. So running could be more fitting. Let's stick with this example. You might say, yeah, nah, I really hate running. It's so boring. Okay, well, here's the thing. In pretty much every city, there are local running clubs with running groups ranging from low to high distances and from slow to fast paces. Find yourself one that suits your needs. And if it's only once a week for about half an hour, this activity will skyrocket your physical and mental health. If you do not feel comfortable joining a club, ask any friend to become your training partner. A training partner helps to become consistent and stay motivated. It is important to say that it doesn't matter what age you are, physical activity will always have positive effects on your health. It will help your brain filter inputs and organize them just as well as it improves your social life. With that being said, if you're interested in sports and performance science, health or sport news, make sure to like and subscribe. Also check out our other videos for more health knowledge. Stay active.